Gwen's Louise with Louise Minky Art, and I feel like I'm looking through a microscope or binoculars to see you guys as I'm trying to do something much bigger today and uh, something I haven't done in a long time. So what I have here is a 12 by 24 canvas, and my in idea is to do something akin to a deconstructed bloom only with a ring pour, which is nem my nemesis. So I will have all the colors and all the formulas listed in the description below, but I call this my regular formula, my regular paints, because this is not bloom recipe. This is just regular paints with Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium. So this is gonna be my base coat. And I'm gonna pour my ring pours into this. I don't know if you can see the consistency. It's hard to see with the black. This is a little bit thinner than my colors. This black is Artist Loft uh, black with some obsidian uh, from Deco Art and also some micaceous iron oxide from Golden to kind of bling it up a little bit. This is carbon black. This is my satin enamel neutral beige with a little bit of the satin enamel white in it. And here is the consistency. So it's a little thicker than normal. Well, here is iridescent silver with some goldens, uh, goldens iridescent silver with deco art sat, um, silver. This is my usual gold combination with iridescent gold by Golden and Deco Art 24 karat. This beautiful color is Golden's Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold and TLP's Zeus. And this is Bordeaux Red by Arteza. So I'm going to try to lay down three ring pours. If anything, I'm going to get practice doing ring pours. This is a, just a basic little canvas. It's just a practice canvas. Hopefully something nice will turn out of it. And uh, yeah, let me get started. I, I, I almost don't have enough room here. I'm so used to doing smaller pieces that this is a whole new, a whole new thing for me. So I think this is gonna be the order in which I'm gonna lay the colors down. All right, everyone, I'm gonna zoom in here and go on triple time. You can see me layering the cup. I'm gonna be doing this three times. And that's a three ounce cup, lots of threes. And I'm gonna do three ring pours. <laughs> I didn't even realize that till now that I'm voicing over. So I'm gonna let this go and I'm gonna just put on some music and I'll be back when I'm done layering the cup. Three. Okay, we'll put that down here. Let me get the black going. Let's give it a little tilt. Sorry if I'm off camera because I'm not best at setting up this way. Okay, let's go. That's called nervous. I don't know how far to go. Here we go. So as I'm watching this back, I can just see the nervousness and the trepidation in my pore. And 
what happened was I just naturally went into a ring pour. I don't know why, but I'm trying to figure this out. So just give me some time in the next few videos as, as I do these more and more. Hopefully I'll get the technique down. But yeah, I go into a ring pour and then I go into the up and down little, I don't know what you call that, what I'm doing right there. And I just want to do a straight pour, but with practice will come improvement. So when I get into the next couple of pours, I'm going to go on fast speed because this is torturous to put you through three of these like this. But I'm watching this and really enjoying it and I'm learning myself, watching myself back. And if you don't video yourselves, you probably should because it really is insightful. Here comes the tricky part. Oof! Torch. I started out doing a ring, a, a ring pour. Seems like that, uh, the satin enamel's kind of taken over here. It's been a long time since I've done anything with satin enamel, so it's a learning curve all over again. So here I'm just adding more flow paint because clearly I don't have enough flow paint to get this ring to spread around before I get into the second ring. And there's a whole art to tilting as well that I need to get re-familiar with. So you're going to see me doing more of these just to keep in practice and to try something and, and challenge myself. So the idea right here is to just stretch out this first one and get it sufficiently spread before I start to tackle second and third one. But you'll see um, I don't really get this thing sufficiently spread and you'll see why as I get through to number three. All right, I'm going to stop right there. Now, number two. So everyone, I am on three and a half times the speed here, layering the cup the same way as I layered it the last time with three layers, and they're very small layers, and that might be something I need to take forward to the next time I try this, is to get a little bit thicker layers. So I'll be quiet and let the music play for the next second or two.
So I'm going to comment on my own video here. And it's funny how I was setting out to do straight pour. And what ended up happening is ring pours and then the jiggle. So I need to just have more confidence the next time I do this and just do a straight pour and let the paint come out of the cup straight. I really am aiming for those fingerlings, as they're so called, and I will have to get there someday. My idea about using flow extender is not going to work. I may have to mix up more, more black paint. So big jump here. I'm just skipping past laying down the rest of that black base. And now I'm going to go back to tilt. Yeah, when I first started painting, I really gravitated toward the pearl pour, where I did a lot of tilting. I hardly used the spinner at all. But I tell you, it's been a year really since I've done much tilting at all, and you get out of practice. You kind of get jerky. You're not sure how far to go. You're not sure how to get it to spread in all the directions you're trying to get it to. So I'm a little herky-jerky, but I am on fast speed here just to uh, save some time. But if you'd like to bear with me as I start to relearn this technique, and I will share what I learn as I go. So while I have a second here, I want to give a big shout out to Kathleen with Cos Creations for the inspiration and in getting back into this technique. I saw her a couple weekends ago, and uh, she inspired me to go back and try this some more. So in the interest of time, I'm going to continue on fast speed as I get ready to layer the cup, and I will be back in a minute. this up so I got something good going okay let's just stop torch it I'm just going to take a break and make more paint because I don't have enough. Don't get this stuff down. Hmm. Looks a little lighter than the other. Oh, let me put some more of the black in. Yeah, it's definitely different. I got to mix it 
And this is the trouble with putting extra color in. Oh, well, you know what? I'll just spread it around. Wait a minute. I didn't put any trouble trouble in. Oh my god, I didn't put any slow troll in. That's the trouble. Alright, this is a total wing and a prayer here. I gotta get this thing tilting. Holy smokes. Don't go too fast. Slow down. It's okay. So I'm keeping it on real time here so you can see how the other two are moving versus the new one that I just laid down. Don't touch over here. Time has not been my friend on this. And ultimately, oh, it really does hurt me on the first one that I cannot get it to move anymore because it's just been too long since I tried to stretch it out. And this is where my inexperience shows as I'm going back in again to lay down more of that base paint. Now I'm looking at this. I really would like to see this move if it's possible. So what I'm doing here is adding a little more of the base paint to see if I can get this first ring pour to flow with a little bit of lubrication on the edges of it. I don't think I'm going to get it there without losing everything else. So here I'm just adding a little negative space to the two corners just because I felt like it needed it. All right. Well, it's certainly interesting. It's 
give it another torch. So as I'm winding down, I want to give another shout out to Kathleen from Cos Creations. If you haven't been to her channel yet, you need to check her out, especially for swipes. I'll have the link to her channel in the description. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is this piece finally dried and varnished. I varnished this with gloss varnish and I put three coats of varnish on. And I'm pretty happy with it for the first time doing this in a long time. I'm gonna get better at it. And I really hope you guys join me for the journey as I go through and experience and learn more. I still have my ornament series. I'll still be doing blooms and I'll be working with resin as well. So until next time, everybody, take care.